Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to groom your man's eyebrows. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button below to stay updated with future videos. What do you think of my makeup today? If you like it and you want to see a tutorial on this look, comment below and let me know. I'll film like a Transform with Tina video for this look if you like. Anyways, let's get started with today's video. So I'm gonna show you how I groom Alfred's brows. As a lot of you may know, like guys these days tend to take care of themselves a bit better. They go get facials, they go get their eyebrows waxed, they go get laser. So guys are stepping up their game. Now, if your man doesn't really take care of his brows and he has like crazy brows and you wanna take it into your own hands to fix them, I'm gonna show you some techniques that I do on Alfred today and Hopefully that will help you groom his eyebrows and make them a little bit more on fleek. But still stay masculine and keep them like guyish looking. So for today I need to invite my lovely model in, Alfred, <laughs> come in. So here we have Alfred. Usually I would do his eyebrows. I've done it like maybe like two, twice, two times already. Mm -hmm. um, but this time I was like, let them grow out crazy so then I can show the audience how to groom their man's eyebrows, or if you're a guy watching this, you can do it yourself too. So let's zoom in and I'll show you guys Alfred's eyebrows. So this is Alfred's brows at the moment. They're pretty crazy. And as you can see, his hairs grow down pretty low and it kind of makes his eyes look a bit like sad. Not that you're sad, boo, you're always happy. Now, when grooming male brows, you don't want to actually shape the brow. You just want to kind of clean up underneath here and sometimes a little bit up here, but not too much. You want to keep the brows really natural looking, but just clean up that area underneath. Now, with eyebrow grooming in general, there's a few ways you can remove the hair. You know, there's waxing, that you can tweeze them, you can use a little raise to shave them. Today, I'm going to tweeze Alfred's brows. I feel like that kind of lasts longer and wax can be a little bit scary sometimes, especially when you're doing it on your man and he doesn't really trust you. So tweezers, uh, I, I feel like the best bet, unless your man is really like scared of pain, you, you can then go in with a razor, but then again, you have like a razor, like so close to your skin. So that could be scary if you don't know how to use a razor. Are you scared, Boo? No, you've done it before, <laughs> so it's okay. It was actually really scared the first time I did it. I was like, trust me, trust me. <laughs> That's exactly how it was. <laughs> okay, before I get started, let me show you guys what I use. I like to use a slanted pair of tweezers. I feel like these are like the easiest to control. It's also a good idea to have one of these like eyebrow lash comb things. Basically, it's good to comb through the brows, brush them into place, and also helps you when trimming them. And then I have a pair of scissors. These ones are slightly like slanted or bent. This just helps me shape the brows a little bit better, but you can also use a straight pair of scissors. Are you ready? Mm-hmm, let's do it. He's ready. So the first thing I do is brush the hairs into place, just out like so. Now you can see all these little hairs down here. I'm gonna get rid of those, I'm gonna tweeze them. And basically when you tweeze the brows, you wanna kinda stretch the skin out and just like use two things to stretch the skin out. So I wanna keep it quite taut so then that reduces the pain. And I'm going to use the tweezers to tweeze the hair in the direction it's growing. So it's, if it's growing that way, you want to pull that way. You don't want to pull the opposite direction because that's going to hurt and it's going to break the hair. So I'm just going to go in and tweeze away. Does it hurt? Mm, it's not comfortable. It's not the best feeling. It's not the best feeling. <laughs> so I'm going to do that with all these little hairs at the bottom. <laughs> now, if your boyfriend or husband finds it a little bit painful, do his eyebrows after he has a hot shower because that reduces the pain. Or you can have like a little ice pack ready to pop over his eyes. But come on, us ladies can handle it, you guys can handle it too. So I've taken the lower hairs out. I'm also going to take these few hairs up here out. And you can see it kind of like lifts his eye shape already. 
comparing the other one. The other one kind of pulls his eye shape down, but once you like take these hairs out, it just lifts the eye up. So we've got a couple more hairs here, boo. It's always nice to have a tissue on hand so you can just wipe away those hairs. Then I'm gonna go in and brush the hairs into place and just tweeze up here a little bit just to clean it up. Just these little like stray ones up here. These ones, like they don't hurt as much as the lower ones. And if your man has a monobrow, you can just go in and tweeze all those hairs in the center. Once again, I'm just gonna brush those brows into place. And Alfred's eyebrows, they naturally like grow downwards, as you can see, and there's some long ones like that one. So I'm gonna trim it. And when I trim it, I just have the brush holding the hairs there. And then I go in with my scissors and just trim them. Then I brush them back into place. Cool, so that side's done. Can you guys see a difference? Can you see how his eye looks a bit more lifted once we've taken those extra hairs down here out? Now again with this side, I'm just gonna brush the hairs into place first. I feel like you've got a lot more hair here than the other side. So we're gonna take these ones at the bottom out and just a few up the top. So once again, I'm gonna stretch the skin out and then tweeze. You can close your eyes with this. <laughs> does this side have more? Yeah, uh, it does. This side, Probably you have both. more hairs. You know if your eyes water and you start crying, the whole world is going to see it. So you got to man up. You're doing really well. It's always good to give your man some words of encouragement. <laughs> always remember to check with the other side so it's even. I just need to take out a few more hairs down here. Out of 10, how is the pain? Oh, it's like six, seven. Six, seven, whoa. Boo, we're done with the bottom. <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> you can breathe a little bit now. I'm just gonna take out some of the top hairs, which don't hurt as much. Oh, the top part doesn't hurt. And then I'm always checking to see if they're like even. I feel like I could take a few more out of these ones. Now I'm going to brush these hairs into place and brush them downwards to give them a trim. These ones aren't too crazy long. And then we're pretty much done. Now Alfred does get a little bit red. I do too after I tweeze my brows, but that will go down. And if you want it to go down even faster, you can put some ice on it. And yeah, this is the results. As you can see, they're not like super like arched or anything or fully shaped. They're just cleaner, they look tidier, and they make his eyes look, I guess, less, less droopy. How was that, Boo? Um, it was definitely uncomfortable. <laughs> you can see his eyes like just twitching, just... Mm. But yeah, that's kind of like me when I pluck my eyebrows too. It's like, ow, yeah. ow, ow. I think it was just really um, uncomfortable, especially under the eye. Uh, yeah, I think that's the, the most painful bit. So you have to make mm. sure you have to keep that like eye area like taut. So just stretch your skin out. Otherwise, I mean, like, up here, up yeah. here is okay. Yeah, up there is fine. Huh? It doesn't really hurt because mm -hmm. that area isn't like as yep. saggy. It's pretty tight already. But this like our eyelid space can be a little bit painful. Mm -hmm. But you had a look at your brows. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. It looks really tidy. Um, <laughs> I don't look like I'm sleeping, half sleeping all the time. So no, it's good. I was like dying to touch his eyebrows all week. I was like, oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to groom your brows. So that's how I groom Alfred's brows. Hopefully you guys can take some of those tips and tricks that I mentioned and you can do it to your man, get that brow under control, make them on fleek. And how do you feel about like, you know, getting your eyebrows like shaped or like groomed? I mean, I still think it looks pretty masculine. Yeah. Um, as long as it's not like crazy. As long as it's not like arched like mine or something yeah. and they're not super yeah. thin. Just go with a natural shape. Don't go too crazy with it. If anything, just clean up a few stray hairs and that should even look better. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video and thank you Alfred for being our lovely model today. He's always such a trooper and I love it. 
Make sure you check out our vlog channel. We filmed a couple of videos together already. So head over to that channel and make sure you subscribe. And yeah, that's it for now. We hope you guys have enjoyed it and we'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.